Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. I am extremely excited to bring to you this store haul. I have been able to do some great trades. I call it a store haul. It's not a store haul. It's a whiskey haul, bourbon haul. Uh, I think all of these are bourbons. Yeah. So we're set. We're good to go. We're going to call it a bourbon haul today. I can't say store haul because I get very, uh, very few things these days from the stores. Most everything I get is via trade and, and all you out there helping me get stuff. So thank you everybody for supporting the channel, helping me and Jamie get a hold of some great, great bottles for us to talk about, to film with, to review and enjoy. If you end up enjoying this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and go check out Beyond the Row if you want to see more of Jamie and I together filming and having fun. I also have to give a huge thank you and shout out to today's video sponsor, Original Grain. Original Grain, we've talked about them before. I'm wearing it. You see me all the time filming it, even, even though the I'm not being sponsored regularly by them, but for the today I am. But I'm always wearing this. If you see me out, if you see me uh, when Jamie and I go out to dinner, this is turned into one of my absolute favorite watches. This particular one is made from uh, former uh, U.S. military ammo crates, which is fantastic. And then I also have this other one, which is made from old uh, whiskey barrels. Gives That's what the beautiful, beautiful inlay in here is, is all those, the beautiful grain there. Right now at Original Grain, they are running 20% off site-wide for Valentine's Day. So get somebody that you love a special, special gift. And if you go to originalgrain.com slash row and use code row at checkout, you will get a total of 30% off for Valentine's Day. So get that special someone a wonderful, wonderful gift of a beautiful watch and some of the other great products they have at Original Grain. Thank you so much, Original Grain, for sponsoring this video. And, and please go check them out. I am really excited for the bottles today. Let's just dive right in. First up, we have an old Dusty. Look at this guy. This is an old Taylor, six years. Great friend of mine, Justin, up in Maryland. He's done so much to help us get a hold of stuff. Uh, but up in, you know, this is a, look at this thing. Thing, man this is like butterscotch taffy looking thing inside anyway i'm excited to try it justin got this for me uh, old dusty he just gave it to me as a gift it's 80 proof aged six years not a whole lot to say i don't know anything about it i don't know how old it is even i'm gonna have to do some a little bit of research up next we have a new riff single barrel now you may notice that this has been open and drunk i needed to open up a new riff single barrel and and this was a uh this was the candidate and it's really, really good. Things coming in at 102 proof. This was a store pick by veterans. Now, uh, Mark, great Mark uh, B from uh, down in Norfolk, great supporter of the channel, great buddy of ours. He ended up giving this to Jamie and I as a gift because he heard how much we liked it. Uh, there's actually a couple of things in here for Mark today. So this new riff, uh, we really, really like what's happening with new riff. A lot of the stuff they're doing, uh, I really, really enjoy. They're they're in Kentucky. They're just right south of Cincinnati, across the river. This one is four and a half years old. Uh, they describe it as um, a brown sugar aromas, breads, uh, brown butter, oak, fruit, white pepper. It's fantastic. Every single one of these that I've gotten, I've really, really enjoyed. These uh, single barrel store pick new riffs, really, really solid. Check them out. Uh, they run right around 50 bucks, uh, you know, give or take, depending on the store in your state, but it's right around that ballpark. All right, up next is another one from Mark. Mark, fantastic. Uh, this is another pick. This is Buffalo Trace. This is a Buffalo Trace store pick. This is from Veterans as well. I am excited because you guys know I've talked recently about how much I love Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rush store picks. And to have one of these, again, uh, the last one I had was from John Kim down in Georgia, store pick from Largo down there, I believe it was. And it was fantastic. And these things are such good sippers. They 90 proof. They're just so crushable. And they pull out these special, you know, special barrels uh, from the standard Buffalo Trace, uh, you know, locations and warehouses and and set them aside and people pick them. And man, these, these things are some fantastic, fantastic bottles of bourbon. This is an Eagle Rare. I got it at the Virginia ABC. Uh, it's my consolation prize for when I would uh, get an email from uh, that there's an allocated release and I, I try to run to the store. Uh, well, not run, I, I don't run. Uh, get in my car and I drive to the store and then I run inside. I will say I do run inside, but when I get inside and uh, everything's been picked over, uh, sometimes I'll luck into an Eagle Rare. Sometimes uh, is the, the, the time it takes for me to go from my house to the store is the time it takes for all of the nicer bottles to get picked. This is one that I truly love. They're fantastic. So it's it's not like I'm really complaining because it's not like, oh man, 
darn, I have to get another Eagle Rare because they're, they're really, really good. Up next is Rebel Yell 10-Year Single Barrel. Now, Justin up in Maryland got a hold of this one for me, and I gotta sell you, this thing is really, really good. I put this up against some other reader, readers in a blind or live stream, I can't remember which one it was, a while back, and it did, it, it did exceptionally well. So the 10 year age statement on it, it's just very, very sweet, really, really well balanced. 10 years on this, the age note starts to come through a little bit and it's it's really a primo pour. If you can get a hold of this, uh, a Rebel single barrel, uh, this is a hundred proof. If you can get a hold of one, definitely do it. Next is a bottle that I've had for a long time and, and I'm still working through stuff from a long time ago. Uh, this I got from the Virginia ABC. This is Remus Repeal Reserve 6. Now I've had this thing for quite a while. Uh, I've filmed with it. Uh, just a teeny bit. I tried it a little bit, uh, but I hadn't done it in a store hall, so I had to, you know, pull it out for it. Um, this was a little bit of a disappointment from the Remus 5. The Remus Repeal 5 is, I think, absolutely delicious. $100. Gorgeous. They raised the price 20 bucks. The quality went down. The age went down. It didn't do a lot for me this year. Hopefully next year. I'll buy next year still. It's not like, you know, destroyed the line for me. I'll still buy next year's. Hopefully next year's, when they put out the 7, it will be a little bit better. Um, hopefully it'll get back to the quality of 5. Um, my famous, my favorite of all time from the Remus Repeal Reserve line is batch is uh, is release two. Uh, five is my second favorite. Six is pretty far down the list. Up next is this was a gift. Uh, Mark, thank you so much, Mark, for for all you did to help us. Baby Blantons, um, they're cute. Uh, they're good little gifts if you can get a hold of them. They're really really expensive. Uh, just like all Blantons that you, you find. You know, it's a cute little bottle. There's not a whole lot in there. What's 375 mil, something like that. And, uh, you know, it, Blantons is tasty. It's good. It's not worth the hype. Uh, if you can get your hands on one for, you know, 50, 60 bucks, do it. If you can't get your hands on one, then just get an Eagle Rare if you can get a hold of one. If you can't, get a Buffalo Trace or a Buffalo Trace store pick. Uh, I would rather have a Buffalo Trace store pick than a Blanton's. I don't know if I don't know how you guys feel about that. Maybe that's controversial. Maybe it's not, but that's how I feel. Next up is a bottle. I opened it for so uh, I've started doing these videos uh, on their Patreon only content that we uh, Patreon is a website you can uh, go to uh, support you know creators uh, whether they be YouTube creators or other types of creators. And so we have one for for folks who want to support Whiskey Row. I've started doing these videos called Porch Pours. And recently I did a video uh, for our Patreon members. This is the 2022 release. I, I had, kind of had mixed reviews on it. I, I had mixed feelings about it. I missed it. I didn't get the 21. I thought about getting the 21. I heard kind of mixed reviews, so I passed. So uh, somebody had emailed me and said how much they really, really liked this. And so I said, well, okay, if I see it, maybe I'll pick it up. And I literally, a couple days later, I just randomly stumbled into it at one of the Virginia ABC stores. Uh, it comes in at 114 proof. It's nice, proofy. Uh, it's kind of expensive. Here in Virginia, it was 150. I don't know what it's going to be in your neck of the woods. Uh, but with that said, it's pretty darn solid. If you have a chance to pick one up, the price tag at 150 is kind of high. But if you're willing to buy a Bartstown Discovery Series for 140 this at 150 is pretty comparable. So if if you want to kind of get into that, that's about what the uh, value proposition you're looking for on this one. 13th Colony Cast Strength Double Oaked. I've talked about this one. Jamie, this was Jamie's favorite of uh, of uh, 2022. Her favorite bottle. It was in my top what six? I think it was five or six on my list. Really, really liked it. Coming in at 135 proof, 135.3 proof. The Cast Strength Double Oaked. Uh, a lot of folks have kind of started to really talk about this bottle now, even though it came out last year. It just took a while for everybody to discover it. And overall, I have to say, this thing is a absolute killer, killer bottle. And uh, I'm excited. Uh, 13th Colony said they're going to be coming out with another one, I believe, in September. So uh, have your eyes out. If you can get a hold of one of these, they're they're fantastic. Uh, price tag, I paid 100 bucks for this one. Retail, they're around 70 or 80 I believe, originally. You'll see them on the secondary now for... A lot. This is our second bottle, so we feel very fortunate to be able to have gotten a hold of a second bottle. So definitely check it out if you have a chance. Willet eight year weeded bourbon, my first and only Willet purple top. This is also now officially the most expensive bottle of bourbon that I have ever paid for. I paid $300 for this uh, to get it uh, down in Texas. Uh, Beckham, thank you so much for getting a hold of me. Uh, holding it, of this for me, I really, really appreciate it. I like it. It's really, really good. It's not really worth three hundred dollars, but uh, it's a beautiful bottle, and I wanted to have my own Willet Purple Top. hadn't had any hadn't had a sample of it at the time, 
when I asked when when Beckham offered it for me uh, to get it for me. So have to say it's pretty darn good though. I really really like it. I put it up against some weeders. It wasn't my top ten of the year, and I think it's I think it's you know kind of the, the tail end of the top ten. It's definitely not near the the bottom of the you know the the you know for one through five. I think I put it in like maybe eighth place or something or seventh place. And, and it, I think that's a fair spot, but the $300 is really, really rough. But, uh, you know, if you're willing to pay $300 and get a will at Purple Top and experience it, it's it's a pretty tasty pour. Last bottle of the night, Michter's Toasted Barrel Finish Sour Mash. Michter's Toasted Sour Mash coming in at 86 proof. This is uh, the 2022 release. I was able to get a hold of one. Thank you so much to Henry in Maryland who traded with me for this one. Um, took a little bit to get it, but uh, happy to do it because these are some pretty tasty bottles. They don't do them every year, so you know, wanted to grab a hold of one while I could and enjoy it, um, you know, a little bit film with it. It's not one that I would regularly sip on just because of how hard this friggin' thing is to find. But uh, with that said, I'm, I'm extremely excited with this store haul. This was a really good store, well, store haul, bourbon haul, whiskey haul. A third of them I bought in stores and the, the other two thirds I got. Um, either as gifts or, or from trades and, and within the community. So thank you so much to everybody else who helps us uh, get bottles here in Virginia. If it weren't for y'all, this channel would have nothing to drink. So with that said, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you to Original Grain for sponsoring this video. And until next time, find a bottle you love.